Hey there my fellow designers and creatives, hope you're all doing well, this is Shaitan here from Design Palette and I am back again today with another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at an online product or a platform I would say rather called Postcards which allows you to design custom looking beautiful and stunning newsletters to share with your newsletter subscribers. We're going to talk all about it in the video so without any further ado, let's get started. Right, now before we get started, I quickly want to mention that I am building my newsletter following. I've got about 40 to 50 uh, sub, uh, subscribers subscribed to my newsletter. I will be sending them out probably in the month of November or December. So if you guys haven't subscribed to it, definitely do. Uh, I'll be sharing a lot of awesome resources and content there. It'll be the first link in the description. All right, so here I am on Design Modo. And the guys over at Design Modo, they create these beautiful and amazing digital products for everybody and they've got three products as of now which is slides which is a bootstrap website generator which is called startup framework and then we have postcard which is what we're going to be talking about in this video so slides is basically a website generator which can kind of help you build a website from uh, scratch but you cannot customize it too much there is a little bit of customization ability but not as much as you would expect to do uh, but it's pretty decent and pretty good uh, for anybody who's looking for a minimal simple website to be built it could be a portfolio or it could be a one pager then we've got a bootstrap website generator for those of you who are into development you can you guys will kind of know what this is all about so i'll leave you guys to check that out and this is postcards where we're going to be taking a look at postcards one quick thing i wanted to mention is about this new platform that these guys have released called as jobs you can post a job uh, where you can go ahead and find jobs people are posting and you can apply for it so you can filter by a role designation but it's probably for designer and developing we've got a lot of people who are posting jobs so you could definitely get in touch with anybody if you guys are looking for jobs but that was just quick one thing that I wanted to mention all right so let's get into postcards so this is the postcards website and uh, right at the start there is a website that you can take a look to understand what postcards is all about if you guys kind of want a trailer of some sort and it mentions all the features over here uh, you can edit text, drag and drop uh, the components, which we will take a look. And then you can upload or use external images and you can view your email templates right from your client, which is basically your newsletter clients, uh, such as MailChimp, for example, that's down below in the website. I'll take a show you that later. Uh, so here, as you can see, there are a lot of features and the website is fantastic, phenomenal. These are custom made modules. Uh, and for each different type of component, you have a separate section where you can drag and drop varieties of a single component uh, for example headers content features will show I'll show you all that and uh, you know uh, these is so they say that it's pre-tested with every type of emails service such as you know all these that I mentioned over here and the last one as you can see uh, these are ESP ready you can just take the HTML code that you can export and link it up with your email service provider and it automatically gets synced to your email and then the email goes to your subscribers just the way you designed it so all these guys are here and yeah so let's quickly take a look at a pricing now we've got three versions now i might be doing a kind of a giveaway or i will be giving a coupon code you can check all the details in the description we have still not decided what it's going to be but by the time this video is live all the links will be down below the description you can enter the giveaway or probably if that if there is no giveaway you can uh use the coupon code and get yourselves one of these two paid plans for a certain discount all right, so as you can see, the demo version basically has everything that you need. Uh, it's got uh, unlimited exports, it's got limited modules. Uh, limited modules is fine, uh, it does have a lot, uh, but unlimited, of course, comes with business and the agency. It's $149 and then we have $299. But I think the demo version has everything that you almost need unless that unless that there is something really specific that you want. So uh, you could definitely try out the demo version. So let's actually get into postcards and start building a newsletter. All right. So this is the interface. And uh, as you can see on the top right side, uh, you have your projects and I'm just click on one and I'm going to call this demo project. And there we go. So I'm going to click on this demo and we've got a lot of modules. I'm not sure what whether these are modules or components. Uh, I'm just going to call them components for now just for the sake of better understanding. And we've got menu, header, content, feature, and all this stuff. And we've also got uh, a nice chat section where you can quickly contact them and get your doubts clarified. And we'll be coming to these 
parts later when we start customizing. All right, so the first one is we're gonna get ourselves a menu. Uh, so this is gonna be the main section and uh, there is a dark theme and a light theme. I believe that's how you wanna call it. Uh, so I'm gonna go with menu four. All you have to do is just click on it or drag and drop and it's gonna put that over here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on this edit button and now I can start editing all the information and details that's over here. So uh, I'm gonna start off by going and changing the logo, which is this one over here. Now you can go ahead and drag in uh, the image, not drag in, I would say, uh, copy the source of the image with a URL and put that on there. But I'm just gonna go ahead and upload this from my desktop for now, all right? So this is my logo and we'll just go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, uh, this is what we got. We can go ahead and uh, decrease the width uh, to whatever we want probably uh, I don't know 90 I think would be enough uh, that depends on your logo size and all that stuff and uh, this one which says image link uh, when you click on it it takes you to another website or wherever you want the location to be the destination to be so I'm gonna send this to my YouTube channel so I'm gonna call this youtube.com slash design pilot Okay, uh, so then on the menu tab, we've got four tabs and you can add more if you want. Uh, but uh, let's see if I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna go ahead and then just click on uh, this and I'm gonna change it to Twitter. And I'm gonna keep the color just the way it is. Uh, I'm gonna go and change the URL to my Twitter handle, which is twitter.com uh, slash kvs. Uh, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, you guys should really do that and I'm gonna click away and then I'm gonna go to lifestyle and change that to Instagram all right and the color is gonna be the same uh, this is gonna be instagram.com slash design underscore pilot follow me on Instagram too guys now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my YouTube uh, to my link over here and we'll disable the image link so uh, I can't click on it but instead I'm gonna come over here to travel and I'm gonna change this to YouTube and then this is gonna have my YouTube channel, which is gonna be youtube.com uh, slash design pilot. All right, and I'm gonna delete the one which is technology. And as you can see, it automatically responsively resizes and fits all the information into the center of the screen. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click on done. Now another thing we can do is we can also go ahead and change the background color. So if I go ahead and set this to a super black, as you can see, it's super black. And we can also add in ourselves a pattern, as you can see. Uh, there you go. Any custom pattern, you can go ahead and import your own pattern. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose this one, which is really nice. I like that. Pretty good. We've got a button color. I'm not quite sure what this is yet, but maybe we'll figure that out. And then we've got ourselves a preheaded text, which, which we can just ignore. And the font, uh, you know, you could choose any font you want. All right, so let's go to the header section and let's get ourselves a header. I think I'm not gonna go for the header now. I'm just gonna go for the content directly. And what I can do is I can actually drag in this component over here and it's gonna load that up. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is edit it. I'm gonna go ahead and change the color of uh, the background to be uh, black, all right? And, or let's actually not choose black. Let's go ahead and uh, pick the same color as we have. Okay, let's actually change this also to black. So let's go ahead and change this to black, all right. Okay, and here the color, we're gonna set this to white and I'm gonna go ahead and change it to say featured portfolios. All right, and yeah, that's what we've got. And let's go to bestfolios.com. So we're gonna go to bestfolios.com and grab ourselves two portfolios. All right, so we've got Jia Zhu and Hanshin Wang. So let's just use these names. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna type Z H I Y A Z H U. I think that is the correct spelling. All right, there we go. And I'm gonna copy this uh, copy link address. Uh, I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna clip all this over. And we can actually go ahead and see it says that she is a product designer. So what we can do is we can mention here in the section as product, uh, product designer the pretty cool thing is it automatically updates so you have an idea as to what is happening as you update it all right the url we're just going to drop in that url and we're going to click on done now we need to change this picture as well but for now i'm just not going to change this picture okay and let's go ahead and quickly do this which is hanshen wang he's also a product designer 
Han Shen Wang. Let's go see if we make this text bigger. You can see the kind of text kind of resizes and stuff. So, you know, let's uh, we just want to make sure that it is proper. We got pretty good. Awesome. Let's go ahead and click on done. Now you can add in a ton more, but for now I'm just going to finish this off with a footer or a call to action. So a call to action would basically mean some kind of a trigger for the user to click on something, which could be to download something or to purchase something or whatever it is. But I'm going to go, go ahead to the footer directly right now and uh, just going to pick a very simple footer. Probably this one, I guess uh, I can go ahead and then we can just uh, drag that on there. And uh, yeah, so we can go ahead and edit this as well. I'm gonna get rid of Pinterest. I don't want Pinterest. I've got these three social media icons. This is gonna be my address, which I'm gonna, which you can definitely change over here, which I'm not gonna show you guys. Okay, so once we've done all this, let's go ahead and click on done. What we can do is we can click on preview, which is gonna preview it for us. So this is how it's gonna look uh, when you're viewing it on your laptop or your desktop, uh, which is basically the web view. And when you go to the mobile view, which is basically when you read your emails on your phone, this is how it's going to look, which is pretty sleek, pretty simple. Um, this is really, really awesome. It looks amazing. And you can go ahead and close it. And then what you can do is you can click on export. And as you can see, what that's going to do, that's going to export this for you. And then you've got yourselves all the images that you used and also the index.html, which is going to be uh, how it's going to look. Now, the reason it's not showing over here is because I need to export, uh, extract it. So let's quickly do that then. All right. So as you can see, we've got the images in one section, all your images that you've used and all the, the uh, information in the index.html. You can click on that. And now, as you can see, everything is updated. Pretty cool. And you can just quickly link this with your email service provider, such as MailChimp for mine. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. And I'll definitely see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.